Hi, Pisces. A smudge of sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. Welcome to Remedies Alchemy and Tarot. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive tarot card reader. I do look at the sun placement, the moon placement, and other planetary placements to get a good idea of the serenity or the energy that is surrounding you at this time. But first and foremost, I do trust and rely on my intuition. It is also my intent that during this tarot card reading, you learn to trust your intuition as well. I think that the tarot is a wonderful way to vet what our inner voice is telling us, where our inner wisdom is guiding us. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Pisces. What would you like the Pisces to know or to be aware of? Steering are for this reading. Look at that. The Ace of Wands, the King of Pentacles, which is the richest card in the tarot, as is confirmed by <laughs> that bell of the phone. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Pisces. What would you like Pisces to know or to be aware of for this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Let me just line those up just a hair. There we are. Pisces, the foundation, the basis of your tarot card reading this week is the Hermit card. Um, a Hermit card, that is the teacher within and that is following your intuition following your guiding light and trusting that but it seems like there's been a pause or a break perhaps you're not trusting your intuition quite as deeply as you once have or should followed by the king of swords which is uh contracts agreements and this contract can be a verbal contract or a written contract but in regards to a contract, in regards to an agreement, you're paused. There's some confusion about this contract and or agreement. Let's see how that plays into the rest of your tarot card reading this week, Pisces. In your public life, and this can be your career, education, business, money, and finance, we start off with this wonderful nine of pentacles, which is that we have everything physically. We have created an environment that is ripe for manifestation, followed by the ace of pentacles, which is a gift a physical gift this could be the gift of money um it could be a home a automobile but it's something that you can touch a physical gift followed by the knight of swords i like to call this my only fool's rush in card it's like taking action without having totally a uh, total understanding or total clarity on a situation wanting or needing more information only fools rush in you know and sometimes it's okay to rush in without having all of the answers pisces followed by the seven of cups which is one of my a lot cards there's just a lot going on here we can see that there's seven cups but in each of those cups there's something different and then we also have the clouds here which is a confusion about everything that is being presented to you everything that is going on and you're lost in your shadow self 
you know, Pisces, you are entering into a new cycle where how you once approach situations are really changing. There is a lot of pressure here for you to prove yourself. That is why we have this Knight of Swords and this Seven of Cups. You're feeling a lot of pressure to prove yourself. But I don't think that this pressure is coming from outside sources. I think that this pressure is coming from the internal self, coming from your shadow self, coming from your ego. Perhaps you were in a situation similar in the past, and now it is time for you to perform. And you're performing beautifully. You're performing just as exactly as is expected or um, how you should. But there's an internal pressure to perform. And it looks like it's coming from a past event, a past experience. And this past event, this past experiences has you needing to prove to yourself. It's not necessarily that you're wanting to prove to others. It's you're wanting to prove to yourself. But this internal pressure to prove yourself, there's two sides of, of that situation where, you know, it, when we have something to prove to ourselves, we set the bar, the bar really high and it gives us a, something higher, something greater to achieve. But the flip side on that coin, coin, the flip side on that coin is if we set the bar too high, we're setting ourselves up to failure. And so while we are succeeding and we're uh, reaching higher achievement levels because we've set the bar so high we have unrealistic expectations to ourselves and when we fall short we get easily discouraged but source is saying you are performing at or above the expected level Though that pressure to succeed, that pressure from to be better is coming from within. And it's time for you to be very realistic. I like the idea of setting high goals. I like not being um, captivated by um, what other people's expectations are, um, you know, it's, it really does go back to that saying where, you know, shoot for the stars and land on the moon. It's like, yeah, we might have not made it to the stars, but look, I did land on the moon, which is a feat, which is an event that is well recognizable that we need to give our credit for. Um, sometimes, even though, <laughs> you know, Success doesn't always come wrapped in a pretty package. Um, you know, true success um, comes through our failures, comes through the um, not reaching our goals, even though we are um, succeeding. And it's important, and Spirit, Spirit is saying that it is important, especially during this first week of the fall equinox, which is the nature bringing things back into balance. I think we need to bring ourselves back into balance by looking at the milestones and looking at how far we have actually come. We may not have achieved the end goal. We may not have achieved the end game, but we have made progress. And we've made a lot of progress this year. Take time. Practice self-gratitude. I think that that is kind of a long answer to the practicing self-gratitude. And Pisces, in your private life, and this would be your love, home, family, and friends, you start off with this four of wands, which is new relationships, new partnerships, new agreements, are you 
planning on getting married, planning on being engagement, planning on um, moving in together or co-creating with someone in your personal life. This card is indicating marriage because of the King of Swords, which is the contract. But there's something about this relationship, something about this new beginning, fresh start with someone in your private life that is giving you pause. Giving you pause is there, maybe there was a red flag, but look at this. We have victory over uh, competition, followed by the knight, followed by the nine of cups. The feast is set, the banquet is ready, and you're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for something to arrive. And here's that five of cups. There's something in the past that is giving you pause. And when something from the past is holding us captive or giving us pause, that is source, that is spirit, indicating that there is still a lesson here to be learned. As soon as we learn a lesson, as soon as we hit a certain milestone, we will naturally progress, we will naturally move forward. And so if we feel like we're on pause or if we're still stagnant, there's something else there, there's something in the past for us to see before we can move on to the next step. But again, you are entering a new life cycle. The energy is ripe for you to enter that new cycle. But in order to enter that new cycle, we must first understand what has happened within us. And so many times, especially when we're dealing with a situation from the past, um, we look at what other people have done have what other people have said and done. We're looking at other people's actions. We're looking at the physical environment, but source, especially since this is cupped, which is the unseen, source is indicating, source is saying that the situation, what you are looking at from this past situation is something within yourself, the energy within yourself, and taking on a new thought process. Take time, think, consider, and uh, process. You know, last week's lunar eclipse also brought new insight into your life. And that new insight that you have gained needs to be understood, needs to be processed in order for you to receive the desired outcome. Um, perhaps your social life um, was in the spotlight or is in the spotlight at this time. And or maybe, you know, you spent in the past, you spent a lot of time putting things out socially, spent a lot of time on how your posts were looked. You, especially like if you were posting to any type of social media, any type of public post, you really thought, Pisces, it's about taking time to consider, taking time out to ponder. Now you're coming into a point where your social media is not um, taking control of your life. You're wanting to uh, be uh, more private and create more intimate relationships instead of having to work, uh, worry about how you're putting yourself out there, um, especially like on social media and your public image. Um, your self-image and your self-awareness are really beginning to take um, center stage here for you, Pisces. Pisces, messages from spirit. We start with the strength card. Working, demonstrating your strengths to yourself, playing into your own strengths. 
the Ace of Wands, which again is strength, strength, strength. You have the ability um, within yourself to make the necessary changes that you're wanting to make in your life followed by the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is the wealthiest card in the tarot. A big gift, a big financial gift coming in. The Queen of Swords, uh, the confusion is clearing. The confusion is clearing. You are entering into a cycle of uh, abundance and of clarity and this new cycle is going to last um, the next two to three years Pisces I love this cycle for you the next two or three years is really about your inner wisdom your inner strength and aligning with your soul's purpose and you have the strength to see that through you have the ability to make the necessary changes and as you align with your life's path wealth and abundance are coming going to be coming in and you're cutting ties with things that no longer bring peace and clarity into your life and this cycle is one where you are being called to live your best life and reconnect with your inner self. 